Rawr. Hey everyone, it's Professor JD here. I'm making this video to share with you a project that I have been working on for uh, about the past year or so. Well, much longer than that, as you'll see. But I, I wanted to pitch an idea to you, uh, and it this is going to be sort of an extemporaneous, off-the-cuff kind of explanation of the project. But if you're interested in participating in some feedback on a board game project, then just listen to this pitch and hear me out. Uh, and see what you think. So as a pandemic project, I have been resuscitating a board game I started making when I was about 13 years old, and which has sort of sat dormant for about 25-ish years. It was something that I was really passionate about when I was a kid, and it became, you know, something that I was obsessed with. I would, you know, work on it in class, in church, when I was camping, like whatever. I would take it with me everywhere and just work on it. But at some point, it became abandoned for reasons that you can read about in the book itself or uh, on the little website blurb that I have. But it was always something that was kind of nipping at my subconscious. So I decided, uh, you know, when the pandemic hit, I, you know, I was working from home, teaching. So I decided to revive this sort of dead or dormant project. Here's my pitch, ultimately. I need some help in the way of feedback, and I would be extremely interested in getting feedback from anyone who is into strategy games and particularly strategy battle games. So in a nutshell, I would describe this game that I'm talking about as something between kind of chess and Warhammer and Axis and Allies, if you've ever played that sort of strategy war game. And of course, with a bit of D&D &D flavoring uh, with the, you know, there's sorcerers and dragons and, you know, all that sort of typical role playing D&D &D kind of stuff. And just to offer a little elevator pitch encapsulation of what the game is about, what I tried to do here is kind of capture the spirit of a broken game. And what I mean by that is a game that has very few limitations on how insanely overpowered you can be. The name Overhail was derived from this idea of becoming very overpowered. So maybe you've played a game in the past where you become frustrated at arbitrary rules that keep you from advancing or keep you from becoming insanely powerful. Or maybe you really enjoy playing uh, a broken character in a video game or a character that can completely and utterly and mercilessly destroy your opponent. Uh, or maybe you like playing uh, with cheat codes or something like that so that you can completely destroy a game. Well, I wanted to capture that sort of spirit in a board game where essentially you just don't have those rules and limitations imposed on you to keep you from assembling a ridiculously powerful team. The motto of the game is, if you've got the power, use it. So the game has a, a lot of dynamic components to it, such as action cards and various character pieces and game boards. But I formatted the game so that it is conveniently contained in one 8.5 by 11 inch 122 page book. So this actually keeps the game cost as low as I can possibly make it, which is good. If I were to produce all the boards and cards on their own and whatever it'd probably be like a hundred dollar game or more who knows but i'm able to keep the cost low by sort of fitting it into this 120 ish page book so if you're interested in contributing feedback to a game like this i would be thrilled if you purchased a copy of the prototype book and it will be up on amazon and there'll be some links and descriptions and links on the website so you'll be able to find those links to purchase the book and here's, here's my other pitch, and here's sort of the benefit of doing this. For those of you who purchase a prototype book and contribute feedback, uh, you'll be mentioned in the acknowledgments of the game book when a definitive version is published sometime in the winter or spring. So uh, I, I want to sort of get feedback to work out the bugs of this game, if there are any. So if you uh, are somebody who's interested in this or know somebody who is, this could be a, a nice gift for somebody to kind of contribute to this new game created by the ghost of my 13-year-old self. So 
this is kind of my gift to that ghost of my former self to finally finish this game and get it out there. So anyway, the, the prototype book will be available online for a certain period of time. I will have the, the description of the period of time in the on the website uh, and on the video description. So just check that out. And thanks in advance for your support with this childhood passion project. I'm looking forward to hearing from you and any feedback that you might have. And if you're interested, of course, also feel free to check out some of my other game-related publications, such as Gaming and the Death Drive, which is published by English Studies in Canada. Uh, and I also have a, a, a kind of a novella graphic novel uh, called Bob's Arcade, which is a story about the delinquent 90s arcade scene with the crime and the drug use. And anybody who kind of grew up in that time will know what I'm talking about. And that's published by Blank Space. So feel free to check those out, too. And thanks again.